It's Melissa from the AC Library, and in this video, I'll show you what happens after you hit search in the Business Source Complete database. In the last video, I showed you how to get everything set for your search. Now hit search, and this is what your results page will look like. Before we look at the actual results listed in the middle of the screen, I want to explain this menu on the left. This provides you with options to further define your search. Listed first are the limiters you already set on the search page, or if you didn't set anything before you hit search, you can now set these limiters lower down under Limit 2. If you forgot to select full text, for example, click it here. Selecting full text is really important because it will ensure you get the full article and not just portions of it. Peer-reviewed means that the article was reviewed by experts in the field. References available means that every result you receive will provide a list of references. You can check as many of these as you like, and when you do make selections, the system will update your results automatically. Notice that the number of results just changed. We did remember to limit by date before we hit search, but if you forget, you can always put the oldest year you want here. You don't have to put the current year, it knows to get everything after the first date you list. Just below the date, if you click on Show More, it opens up even more limiters that you might have noticed on the initial search page. Publication Type allows you to filter out results based on the type of result it is. You could just retrieve results that are industry profiles or market research reports. Document Type might be helpful to you. You could just get a company's report. If you're only seeing articles written in languages you can't read, this can help. I'd skip the publication box on this screen because it's also back in the main menu and over there you'll see options listed that you can just select. Right here you can limit how long the articles in your results are. If you just want a short article you can set that. For business research I love these components here. Plug in what you know, the product name, the company's name, ticker symbol, or DUNS number. For the NAIC industry code, click on the hyperlink here to take you to a site listing possibilities. If you've made selection on this screen, don't forget to hit search and your results will update. Back on the main menu, here are additional limiters. If you click on one, it expands and gives you a list of possible boxes to check. Each choice has a number next to it in parentheses. This is the number of results you'll have if you check the box. Source types is where you can filter out results based on the type of result it is. Maybe you only want to look at market research reports. Thesaurus provides other words that are similar to your search terms. Subject is a list of descriptions the publishers used to describe other key terms that are discussed in the articles and your results list. Publication is the journal, newspaper, or magazine the article was printed in. Company is the publication company if it's something other than a journal, newspaper, or magazine, so Coca-Cola Company, for example. Here's language again, and geography is the area in which the article was published. I use this sometimes to narrow things down to just things that are published in the U.S. Remember that this gives you a listing of agencies or organizations that have produced information listed in your results. Okay, now in the next video of this series, we'll start looking at the actual results.